Hey, what's going on everyone? Chris back with another video. Some of you have mentioned and asked me about how to create the custom splash screen that I have on my next bit Robin. Um, well, it's been a long time coming and it's been many, many months since I mentioned that I would make a video on it. Um, so here it is. So here's the splash screen of the Razer uh, logo Robin AOSPA. Um, so we'll go into this tutorial on how to make your own splash screen and how to flash it onto your next bit Robin. But first, I just do want to give a huge shout out and thank you to um, community members of XDA, uh, Anirian B and Goku Inc, which originally put um, all this information together. Um, so I basically followed this guide and applied it to uh, making my own. Um, I'll also include a link um, in this video in the description if you want my specific splash screen so you can flash yourself. Um, so let's get started. So you're going to need a few things first and that is going to be first the splash maker uh, basically zip so to speak. So the splash maker zip um, you will need which is basically just a batch file um, and it does give some instructions on how to uh, how to use it. Um, we'll get in that, into that a little bit. Um, first, what we're gonna need to do then after that is to basically use whatever editing program that you use. Um, I'm using just uh, paint.net, you can use Photoshop or, or what have you. Um, so basically here is just the, the image already provided um, from XDA and you can make whatever changes that you want to this. Um, so we could essentially just, uh, if you want, uh, make this blue if we wanted to. And there you go. So now you have a white and blue um, themed splash screen. So what we're gonna wanna go ahead and just do now is just save this. Uh, we can just save this into a desktop and we can do AOS, AOSPA2 blue. Next, we're going to go over, open our instructions here, which brings you to that same page which you downloaded the file from. So in order to create the, the splash screen, you do need to make the uh, splash screen resolution basically 1920 by 1080, and so that way it's going to work properly. So what we'll do next is basically rename it to a logo.png. So what we'll do is actually rename the, the file that we have saved as logo.png, copy it over to the, uh, the PIX folder that is in the splash maker um, that we downloaded after you extract them, of course. And then what we'll just have to do is just run this batch file, which says, all right, creating, creating splash screen, um, not found logo.png exiting. Okay, so why is it? Uh, that's why logo that's all you need logo so we'll go ahead and rerun this again creating splash screen success and so once it finally successfully uh, creates the splash image and places it in the output folder um, it give, then gives you the option to actually create a flashable zip um, so if you want to do that and flash it via TWRP you can just by pressing Y and that will be successful. So now you would have the access to the flashable zip there, which you can flash in TWRP, or the splash image, which you can flash in um, Fastboot onto your next bit Robin. So now that we have the, the splash screen, we need to actually install it onto our next bit Robin. So there's a couple different ways you can do it. Um, you can do it through TWRP, um, you can also do it in fast boot mode. So let's go ahead and give the, the fast boot mode a go here. Go ahead and restart your device into bootloader, fast boot mode. And then what we need to do is actually copy that splash screen that it created um, in the output folder over to um, where you have your ADB and fast boot set up. Um, so we're going to go ahead and just copy it here. Now we're going to go ahead and open our ADB interface, fastboot interface I should say. Fastboot 
And remember, since this is the next bit Robin, fast boot devices is not going to be, oh, it actually is recognized. Okay, awesome. Um, you may need to actually use a command um, in here for it to recognize your, your next bit Robin. So fast boot devices is recognized. Great. We're going to go ahead and do fast boot flash splash splash image. So now that um, your device next bit Robin is recognized in fast boot, uh, the command fast boot flash splash splash dot image is here. So basically what that means is you're using the fast boot interface. We are flashing a file and we're flashing it to the splash partition of the system and then the, the file name which is splash.image. So what we'll go ahead and do is after you type that in, all right, perfect, it's completed, it's successful. So what we'll go ahead and do now is go over to our next bit Robin. See, now we have blue, what we just made. The fast boot method is gonna be successful. Um, I feel if you already have that set up, it's gonna be the easiest way instead of having to transfer it back and forth to your, your phone. But if you want to, we'll go ahead and boot into recovery and we will flash what I just had before, which is that Razer logo. And we'll flash that edition here in TWRP custom recovery. Go to install, flashable splash zip. All right, done. And there's our Razer logo one that I had made. So there you go. So that's how you get the custom splash screen. You can make your own, um, have fun with it, make it your own, uh, basically more personalized to your phone. Um, seeing as it, it was, next bit was bought out by Razer, I figured that'd be a nice little play on the device. And since I'm using AOSP, AOSPA, ROM, um, give that little extra touch there. So anyways, thank you all for watching. If you guys have any questions, um, feel free to comment and ask, and really appreciate everyone at XDA that provided this information, the guides. Um, I'll leave the links to their original forums, so if you need to reference anything, you can always post on XDA. Thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you all in the next video. Take care.